So, today we are going to be determining whether I should really go to law school. What type of law should I go into? What type of law student will I be in law school? And how are we going to figure this out? Online personality quizzes. my channel everyone my name is Madison it is nice to meet you like I said today we're gonna be taking some law school online quizzes to determine what type of law student I will be and what type of law I should go into I'm a sucker for a BuzzFeed quiz you know those quizzes that are like build your perfect sandwich and we'll talk about your personality you know I love those even though they are so nonsensical I don't know if these are gonna be the most thrilling quizzes because they're law student quizzes I mean you put the word law in front of things and then it's automatically dull and boring. Am I right or am I right? But we're gonna take these two quizzes today. I'm really excited. I'm gonna put the links to the quizzes in the description box and if you wanna take them and tell me what you get and what if we get the same thing and then we're twins. If you are new, you should subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber and as always, if you ever wanna talk about law school or life in general, you can leave me a comment or you can message me on Instagram. So without further ado, let us get in to the first quiz. Okay, I'm gonna scooch over so that I can put the quiz right here so you can follow along what I'm doing. And we're gonna start with what's your law school personality? This is a quiz put out by Barbary and I'm going to screen record. Okay, question one. How would you best describe your commitment to your undergraduate studies? Serious study four plus hours outside of class every day? An undergrad? Do people do that? I don't know. Competitive, studied two to four hours outside of class every day, or a crammer, rarely studied but was able to digest all of the relevant material immediately prior to the examination. Uh, I would say I fall in between crammer and competitive. I would probably do like an hour outside of class every day, so I'll say competitive because I didn't really cram, but it wasn't two to four hours for sure. To prepare for the LSAT or the GRE, you took a commercial prep course, accessed free resources on the internet and studied with those, purchased commercial study aids and books for self-studied, hired a one-on-one -on -one tutor, walked in, took it cold and nailed it. Whoa, okay, wish I was that one, but I purchased commercial study aids and books for self-study. I will put the link in the cards to my LSAT video and you can see what books I purchased and I think that video is really helpful, so check that out, but yes, we did that one. How would you best describe your approach to completing unsupervised, time-sensitive projects? I'm a planner who usually completes assignments well before a deadline with ample time for review and revision. I'm typical, producing quality work product on or slightly before a deadline. I'm a procrastinator, and if it wasn't for the last minute, nothing would ever get done. Uh, I fall in between the typical and the procrastinator. I'm going to say I'm typical. I usually get it done right before the deadline, and not to, not to brag, but it's usually quality work. So I'm going to say that one. As an undergraduate student, when it came to extracurricular activities, I was very involved, somewhat involved, involved, uninvolved, uninterested. Moving on. I view my first year of law school as an extension of undergrad, the first step in building my professional reputation, a year that can change the trajectory of my professional career. Definitely not an extension of undergrad. I'm terrified for law school, and undergrad was fun. Huh. I think the first step in building my professional reputation. During my 1L year, when it comes to briefing cases, I plan to brief all my cases throughout the entire 1L year. Brief all my cases during the first month or so, then switch to book briefing. Brief all my cases during fall, then switch to book briefing in spring. Read the cases to get ready for class and prepare for discussion, but I'm not going to brief them because grades are entirely based on exam performance, not classroom performance. I wish I could say that I'd brief all my cases, but I just know myself. I know myself. Madison, you are not going to brief all those cases. I think it's going to be read the cases to prepare for class, but not brief them. But I probably will. But this is the answer that most aligns with what I think I'll do, so I'm going to pick that one. When reading and briefing cases, I believe the most important part to identify is the facts, in case you get called on in class, the issue, the holding, the reasoning. Obviously, the reasoning is most important. During my 1L year, when it comes to course outlines, I plan to work with my study group, dividing the tasks of outlining among the various members, obtain and memorize the outlines of upperclassmen who got an A, obtain outlines from upperclassmen who got an A with my professor in the past and use that as a starting point, draft my own outlines for each of the courses from scratch. So I have been in study groups in undergrad and I always ended up drafting my own study guide anyway. 
that's just how I am. So I'm going to make my own outlines. I know that for sure. During my 1L year, when drafting my fall semester course outlines, I plan to begin drafting my outlines from the very first week of class, begin drafting my outlines about halfway through the semester, begin drafting my outlines around November 1st, or begin drafting my outlines over Thanksgiving break. Hmm. I'm going to say first week of class because I know that's what I should do. And mark my words, guys. If I don't do this in four months, point me back to this video and roast me because I should be doing this. So I'm going to say first week of class. I'm going to start. During my 1L year reciting the black letter law on my open book contracts exam, I plan to, we're really getting specific. I, I didn't plan to do anything actually. Memorize the black letter law and walk into the exam without any plans to refer to my outline or outside authority. Not that one. Walk into the exam with a general understanding of each legal principle covered during the exam, but knowing exactly where in my outline I can find the elements to include in my exam answer. Mm, I think that one probably. I'm the common law student. Cool. The common law student, I'm just honestly thrilled that I didn't get Gunnar, to be honest. The common law student possesses all of the characteristics needed to earn a spot on law review, intellectual curiosity, mental acuity, and a strong work ethic. Unafraid of hard work and having already enjoyed academic success throughout most of their lives, common law students are optimistic and walk into law school fully expecting to receive straight A's, not sure about that, academic honors, and multiple offers from big law summer associate programs. Having gunner-ish tendencies, they probably spend just as much time as top law students reading and briefing their cases and creating their course outlines. However, when grades are released, these students are disappointed to learn that they are in fact just common average. I didn't, I didn't take this quiz to be attacked, but I was. So that's quiz number one. I really actually kind of enjoyed that one. Um, I'm a common law student. That's how I'm going to be. Let's see if that holds up in a few months. The other quiz we're going to be taking is which area of law is right for me. I'm interested in this because I don't 100% know what type of law I want to go into. So hopefully this can help me a little bit. What area of law is right for me? All right. Which extracurricular activity are you most drawn to? Human Rights Law Clinic, Pro Bono, Bar Society, Mock Trial, Society Treasurer, Photography, Film Society, Parenting Scheme, Mentoring Scheme. Um, hmm. I'm in between the first two, to be quite honest with you. I think I'm going to say Human Rights Law Clinic and Pro Bono sounds good. Next, what is, was your favorite A-level, business studies, graphic design, criminology? Obviously, we know psychology. Yes. Next. What do you consider to be your best skill or attribute? Entrepreneurial, obviously not pronouncing things, advocacy, creativity, interpersonal, being comfortable working in gray areas. I am uncomfortable working in gray areas, so not that one. I'm gonna say advocacy. Next, as a practicing lawyer, what sort of work do you think you would find more appealing? Working on one or two large high value deals at a time with a big team of lawyers, Working alone on many different small value matters at the same time with a diverse client base. Working in small teams on high profile projects with high profile clients who are likely to be in the public eye. Working on alone or in small teams and instructing barristers in court where needed on numerous small low value matters at a time. Working in small teams on a diverse range of high and low value cases with focus on governmental and public law with the sprinkle of EU law. I'm going to say the last one. That one sounds interesting. What is your favorite TV show? Where is How to Get Away with Murder? The pinnacle of accurate lawyer shows. I don't know. I've only seen Suits and I haven't even watched it all, but I haven't seen any of the other ones. Let me know if any of these shows are good, but I'm going to put that one. What type of work environment do you prefer? A big city office with stunning views, a smaller high street office where everyone feels more close knit, a mixture of city office and high street office, a trendy boutique firm, a mixture of a city office, and a boutique firm office. I think I'm going to say the last one. That one sounds interesting. Who is your role model? Obviously Malala. I don't even need to read the rest of them. Warren Buffett. <laughs> it's funny. All right. What is your main motivation in your career aspirations? Helping others, fighting for justice, taking care of my family, money, working with exciting high profile people. It's between helping others and fighting for justice. I think I'm going to say, I think if I put fighting for justice, that in turn is helping others, so I'm going to put that one. The law is for protecting everyone equally, protecting profit, T, 
protecting the innocent, protecting an idea, protecting children, protecting everyone equally. What would be your favorite first date? Now this is this is the BuzzFeed content I need. Tour of Warner Bros. Studio, a murder mystery, so like a murder mystery dinner, or like an actual investigation because those are two different things. Wine tasting, volunteering in the community, taking the dog out for a walk. Tour of Warner Bros. Studio sounds actually awesome. And now I'm getting my... What? Your perfect area is corporate law. The area of law you'd be most suited to is corporate law with all of the shiny benefits the corporate lifestyle brings. Working with some of the biggest names in the business world obviously doesn't scare you. Did I put answers that make it seem like I wanted to do corporate law? Can somebody tell me? Because I feel like that is not the answer that I was expecting. I was not expecting corporate law. What? Somebody else take this quiz and let me know what you get because that's so weird. I really don't feel like my answers aligned with corporate law at all, but you know, this quiz said so and now I guess guess my fate has been determined. All right, everybody, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I kind of wanted to do just like a fun video. I usually do very informative videos and they are fun for me to make, but it's, it's time to let loose and determine what type of law I should go into and what type of law student I was gonna be. This video brought me a lot of clarity. I'm gonna be average and I'm gonna be a corporate lawyer, apparently, according to these quizzes. If you take them, let me know what results you get in the comments below and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.